Welcome back. Now behind me are these green buggies. But unlike those petrol powered ATVs, these run on electricity. Yes, these are e-Bahas and they're making the debut at this year's Mahindra Baha SAE 2015. So here's the story. And growing and contributing. Beyond boundaries, the theme for the Mahindra Baha SAE India 2015 was an app choice. For this 8th edition featured a new event that introduced electric vehicles to the Baja format. You're seeing the importance being given to the e-vehicles to come up with a solution for petrol, diesel, for fuel basically, to come up with an alternate uh, source of fuel. So this is a uh, ground where we thought why not uh, start an e-Baja ground which is the next future as we see and right, start from right now so that in the coming years, the students are able to uh, develop something which uh, becomes our future. We had uh, gone to Dr. Kalam uh, to get him uh, as the, uh, for this event. And uh, the first question which he asked is, what is different what you're doing in that event? So we had no answer. So he straight away said, was if you're doing something interesting and do something new, I would look at it. That was Ibaha generated. He said, why don't you look at Ibaha? Why want alternate fuel? alternate energy to be used in your, uh, uh, in your uh, events. But the journey to the future began with small steps. Since it was uncharted territory, only eight teams were chosen to participate in what would become the world's first e-Baha event. All of these teams were supported by Mahindra Reva with technical assistance, subsidized electrical components and, most importantly, design level lessons to get their buggies up and running. This event, what, once it grows, essentially creates the talent pool and the people who are already equipped to work in this emerging technology domain. So today you don't have any university specifically focusing on uh, such type of uh, curriculum where you're actually going on electric vehicles since it's very quite in the nascent stage. So eBaha uh, with SA India and with a lot of participation from Mahindra, I think it's not only going to benefit us as a company, I would say it is going to help us as a country and creating this talent pool within the country so that we'll be able to latch on in this new technology that is coming up in the future. I think next year we'll pick it up tremendously. E-Baha is going to be the next thing which is happening in Baha. The special workshops conducted by Mahindra Reva for the participants not only helped them gain the necessary know-how on developing the electric buggies, but they also gave the students an opportunity to interact with experts from the industry and get new and exciting insights into the world of electric vehicles. We approached the top management of the company, said the e-Baha requires a support uh, because uh, the conventional Baha, what we do, uh, we don't have that manpower, that facility. Uh, the manpower is available in Mahindra Reva. They were uh, well and they accepted. They came forward. They supported in terms of organizing, getting the equipment, because all imported equipment, to the students, sourcing, support. Workshop was carried out in Bangalore facility. That's what they did. They left everything on the students to do it. For students designing the electric ATV, the main obstacle was to match the performance of a conventional Baha buggy. The batteries took up quite a bit of space and the electric powertrain weighed almost twice as much as the conventional single-cylinder Briggs & Stratton unit. While the electric drivetrain produced 17 horsepower and 54 newton meters of torque, significantly higher than the petrol ATV, the electric buggy still lagged in terms of power-to-weight ratio. First main challenge was battery placement. Uh, batteries are very huge compared, like, which will not be available, in, which will not be there in the conventional vehicles. So placing batteries is a difficult task. Other than that, rest are all same, similar to conventional vehicles. Car is specially designed for driver safety and ergonomics, uh, so that the driver is safe at any conditions. It has, the, all the batteries and fire, uh, fire materials, fire catching materials have been in, completely insulated, and the driver can escape at any time within five seconds. That is a specialty of our vehicle. 
इससे टॉर्क बहुत नहीं मिला क्योंकि इसमें गियर रेशो हमने सेट नहीं किया इस ये प्रोवाइड हमने कंपनी ने किया है महिंद्रा रेवा ने इसे हमें प्रोवाइड किया है इलेक्ट्रिक किट तो इसमें टॉर्क रेशो बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं है मैक्सिमम फिफ्टी थ्री मिल रहा है इसलिए ग्रेडियंट चलने में बहुत प्रॉब्लम हुई है एज देर इज अ सिंगल गेयर इज अ फॉरवर्ड रिवर्स एंड न्यूट्रल ऑनली ग्रेडेबिलिटी इज मेन चैलेंज फॉर ई ए टी मेन चैलेंज इज टू कम्पेयर विद पेट्रोल दे हैव द पावर एडवांटेजेस लाइक वी हैव some different kind of motors and they have uh, like they can directly uh, have some uh, initial pickup in uh, compared to the electric vehicle so it will be an, uh, another uh, disadvantage will be what this vehicle there is a range problem like uh, one cycle battery they, we cannot go much uh, compared to the conventional vehicle the final test for the eight electric vehicles was an hour long endurance test Now just like the petrol counterparts the Ibaha teams are also subject to all the standard static events of course all the endurance events were heavily customized silent yet strong the e buggies managed to make their way around the challenging track An hour or so later, Team Falcon riders from RVR and JC College crossed the finish line first. But it was the team from UV Patel College of Engineering that backed the title of best overall e-baha team, creating history. Yes, it was uncharted territory, but the e-baha event certainly holds a lot of promise for the years to come. On that note let's take a quick commercial break when we return we continue the build up to the grand finale of the Mahindra Baha SAE 2015 <laughs>